Good morning from Vietnam, still in Hoi An, and this is another one of the ancient houses. This is the Duc An house uh, that at one point was a, um, a medicine, medicinal, Chinese medicinal medicine place. That's it. Okay, got my phone unhooked, now I can hold it up properly. So we've got some beautiful pictures here. Like watercolors. And somebody's ancestors. This is a portrait of Mr. Carl Hong Lan before he left Hoi An in 1934. Okay. This plate was a present from the Prime Minister of Thailand. Yeah. Must be a pretty connected family. Hi Tracy! Medals of Mr. Kao Hong Lan were presented for his long service to the party and state. Okay. That's some old papers. Ethan, is Ethan watching too? Hello Ethan! We're in Vietnam and it is fascinating. We've got some beautiful lanterns on the ceiling and look at the gorgeous wooden ceiling. Lanterns, carvings everywhere, pictures. There's an interior courtyard out there, out there in a minute, but first of all, let's take a look at this beautiful inlaid. Look at this. Inlaid mother of pearl. It's a little dark. There we go. I've got out of the way so now you can see. Isn't that beautiful? So this is on a beam big wooden upright beam and then decorated with these beautiful inlaid mother of pearl pieces. Hi Ethan! <laughs> and we've got some more beautiful wood carvings, the ceiling. Alright, let's go over here. And the floors, look at this. Stone floors. All uneven from hundreds of years of being walked on. More beautiful inlaid mother of pearl. Lanterns are just lovely. Ah, this is a shrine, one of the ancestor shrines. This is, this is for you, Ethan. You've got to respect your ancestors. That's Nana and Grandpa. <laughs> and put up a shrine to them when they die. And this is a bed. Look at that. <laughs> See? It's woven, looks like split bamboo. God, it's on a solid wood base, that would not be very comfortable. We have a beautiful cabinet here. And lots of old pieces of china. Let's see what else we have. Some lovely old furniture wood carvings. Uh, 
No, I'm not in England, Ethan. I'm in Vietnam. TJ, you'll have to show him where that is on the map. There we go. Somebody's ancestor. Can't see very clearly. Cabinets full of china and boxes. Beautiful furniture. This is a marble or granite seat. <laughs> and stepping down to the interior courtyard. Lots of hanging plants. Stone walls, mossy. Oh. We go. We've seen several wedding or engagement shoots today. <laughs> Mr. Carl Hong Wang at the parliamentary session in 1960. Okay, so he was obviously a mover and shaker. Mr. Carl Hong Wang and some comrades from the Supply and, Transporti Supply and Transportation Board ah, was responsible for supplying arms to the revolutionary forces in the south of Vietnam in Thailand, 1948. Well, that was when the French were still here. Mr. Carr Hong Lan and top ranking General Vo Nguyen Giap at the Second Party Congress, 1951. Yes. So much of this beautiful inlaid mother of pearl. Wooden carvings on the beams. And this lovely outdoor, outdoor interior courtyard. You can see the view back into the street entrance. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, wedding. Beautiful wedding, yes. Uh. <laughs> I love the traditional clothing. So elegant. Thinking of buying an outfit, hoping it might make me petite and elegant. What do you think? Uh, jewelry for sale, Vietnamese ancient coins. Uh -huh. Okay, the knickknacks section. We don't need knickknacks. The private section. on the stairs. Going upstairs. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, Tracy. Thank you.
moving on back into the public area. Here's our wedding couple. Ciao Samuele. Mary Ellen, hi. Well, let's walk you through the ground floor of this house. So it's, it's kind of like two houses with an entrance at one end, a central courtyard, and then you go through and usually an entrance at the other side. Um, quite often, uh, years ago when these were active merchants' houses, uh, there would be the front entrance on the street and the back entrance onto the river so that they could deliver goods and get them straight into the house that way. So very, very practical, very clever. And then you've got your living quarters upstairs, usually a kitchen out back, but bedrooms and so on upstairs. Oh, and Chris is pointing out. They've incorporated the three lucky symbols into the, the supports for the roof. Ah, the three lucky symbols incorporated. Which are the three lucky symbols? These three bars, these three horizontal oh, bars. The three horizontal bars. Yeah. Uh, lucky symbols incorporated into the roof. Well, it must be lucky because the house is still standing. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. So now the wedding couple, she's pouring tea for him. Do it again, do it again, the photographer's saying. <laughs> oh my goodness. The photographer's saying, no, no, not quite right, try again. Position your hand this way. <laughs> I'm going to make her giggle in a minute. And it's just, <laughs> he had to pull that away because it was overfilling. Here we go, smile girl. Pour it. Ah, it's not pouring well. There we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, is that why, Tracy? Tracy says an interior design, that's why you use odd items. It comes from the three. It comes from the three. Yeah, they had three and five. Three was the five lucky, three was the lucky things, and five was the, the five elements. Ah, oh, yes, of course, the five elements. Look at her showing off her beautiful pink outfit. And he's looking nervous. <laughs> okay. Photographer's going, yeah, turn your head a bit this way. Try that. Something else. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Going to close that down for today. Talk to you soon. Bye.